A group of St Margaret's students were caught in the devastating earthquake that hit Nepal in April and now they are determined to make a difference. The girls organised a fundraiser at the school in conjunction with the Farmy Army called Nepal's Fate for the Crate. The concept was to have a container on site and have stools at school as well in which you could either buy tarpaulins, ropes, um, torches and things like that to, that will go into the crate over to Nepal or buy prayer flags, badges, drink bottles, uh, those kind of things for yourself. The group has raised over $21,000 so far to go back to the community that they became so close with. So we were all in Nepal for the earthquake. We all spent about a month travelling around, seeing the sights, and then at the end of our trip we had the big earthquake. So obviously we felt very attached to Nepal and felt like we needed to give something back to this country where we made all these amazing memories. Three of the girls were located 40 kilometres from Kathmandu and were working to build a school when the earthquake hit. It was really scary. Like, it was a lot bigger than in Christchurch and it was just the fact that it was away from home so it was a lot scary because you didn't have your family there. It was a lot bigger and went on for probably three times the length of the Christchurch one. Uh, however the shaking was a lot uh, it was a lot more rolly and louder rather than being extremely violent. Like you kind of had time to think about what was actually happening rather than that adrenaline hitting you straight away. But um, yeah, earthquake's an earthquake. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the scary thing was like the magnitude of it. Like we knew that all these people had died, and we were right in the middle of it. That's what. And like our families at home were getting all this news about people who've died, and so a lot of us were thinking about our families, not ourselves. We were, that's what scared us. Catherine says she's proud of the girls' initiative. They're an amazing group of girls. We had a fantastic month in Nepal and then to come back and see them just pour their heart and soul into a fundraising event like this is amazing. And, you know, they're really busy girls and they do lots of other things, but they just really wanted to do something to sort of help the people that we had become so attached to. And I think it's given us some sort of sense of closure that we've done something really, really well worthwhile and it's going to help other people for a long time to come. And they're keen to help out in the future. It definitely is just kind of one of those stepping stones towards other things. Now that we've organised something like of this size and, and raised this much money, it kind of gives you a bit of confidence to be able to go out and do it again, obviously, because you, know, you get a bit, of a bit of a taste for what it's like and it's really cool. So, um, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it opens your eyes to the opportunities outside of the classroom, yeah, which was really cool, I thought. I'm definitely keen when I'm older to go back to Nepal and help out, especially where we were yeah, in the school because we made heaps of you know, connections over there and I can't wait to go back and help out. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.